Yesterday I did an unboxing of this solid state hard drive. Um, it's from Corsair, it's a 120 gigabyte um, solid state hard drive. And I mentioned during the video that I would uh, show you guys how how I installed it into a, a laptop. Um, depending on your skill level with computers, um, this may apply to you, may not. This may be something easy for you, it may not be, you may have no idea. So I'm hoping this helps you out and that's the only reason I'm doing the video. I actually help people with computer repair and, you know, I get asked these questions a lot. So I'm hoping this video helps them out or helps you out. Um, like I said, I'm just going to do a quick, I'm not going to get into it too much. I just want to show you how to install this um, into this laptop that I have here. Um, yours may be different. The location of this drive in your notebook may be different of where it goes. Um, but for, for this particular notebook that I have here, um, it's a it's a Dell, and uh, right now you're looking at the very bottom of it. I have it flipped over. Um, you're also going to notice in the background there, I have the battery and the power adapter. Looks like it's plugged into the battery, but it's actually not. I'll show you guys. I, I removed the battery, and I unplugged it. So those two things you want to do first. Anytime you're doing um, technical work to the computer, you're going to be messing with the hardware, removing the hard drive. Or, you know, if you're going to go in there and remove the memory or something, or you want to upgrade the memory, make sure you guys unplug the battery and uh, unplug the power adapter. So as you're looking at it now, it's it's basically ready for us to go ahead and just uh, figure out how this goes in there. So just to give you guys an idea um, about the SATA connector here, this has, there's a notch right there, and there's a notch right there. This is your data side. And this is your power side. These are actually uh, two different connectors. Okay, they do different things. So inside, once you find on your notebook the location of your hard drive, and I'll show you here. Um, this little piece I have here is the hard drive. This is basically a hard drive, considered a hard drive caddy um, for this particular one. Some of them are a little a little different, but for this notebook that I'm doing for this video, this thing goes right in the side here, and it's usually held in by two screws that go in here and, and possibly back here in these holes. So it's usually, you know, I've, I've found a lot of times my hard drives are in the corner like this on the bottom of the notebook, so you just want to look around the edge of the notebook, you know, for a cutout you know, with these like about that wide, you know, where it would look that, hey, that that would slide out. So you can find the location by that, or you can look in your manual for your notebook and, and see where your hard drive is located. But that this is an important piece, and I'm spending a little time talking about it because we have to put this on. I'm going to show you real quick. We got to screw this on here, and then it's really easy to do, but we need to make sure that we're putting it on the right way in order to do that. I showed you those two slots right there um, on those two connectors. There's two notches. This is basically, to install this SSD drive in this notebook is kind of like fail-proof. If you look down in, I'm going to have to use a flashlight here. If you look down in there, you can see the slots down in there, and you can see where the notches are. Okay, so I don't know if I can do this both at the same time or not. Um, I'm going to try. To hold the flashlight and hold the drive up but if you can um, get an idea there so if you look down there at the bottom towards the top you can see your connectors so they're keyed you know you can't install this drive this way because it's not going as you can see it's not going to go in but if you line it up um, the correct way the not how the notches are down there um, you know, it's going to install in there no problem at all. So that's what you want to look at. That's how you uh, line this up. And as far as it being flipped over, it can't go that way. So it's only going to go one way. So it's kind of like fail proof. And all this does is push down in there. It slides into place. You just push it in. Okay. So once we know, you know, once you know the direction of it, it's going to be, you know, you just keep it, keep it by the front of the notebook there. And kind of set that way, and you know that your, you know that your, 
caddy goes in that way. So then, you know, all you got to do is take it like this. And um, this particular caddy has a, a nice little pin, which is going to be really helpful right there because that's going to hold it in place for us. Actually helps me do the video. So, you know, there's um, most of the time, all these drives are pretty much going to be about the same. Um, actually, I'm looking at, at these holes here. Um, I'm not sure if that would line up, but that may line up, and that could also be mounted that way. Um, you, you probably don't have to, once it's in place, um, mount it using those holes because you're going to have... Um, I'm going to have the two end down here. So, but let's just take a look at this real quick. So you got that pin in there. Um, over here, there's all you want to do is, you know, put this little screw in there. Screw this little, they're really tiny, so you want to have it take your time and don't strip them out. Just snug, snug it up so it's, it's fairly tight. Um, next, that's it as far as that goes, but uh, what we can do next is um, slide it in there and, and push it in place. So if you if you look here, I'll show you that it's kind of like a little bit of play. So when you get this in there, just pull up on it a little bit because you know those connectors are at the top, okay? So you'll feel it kind of nudge into place like right there, there's a gap. So I know it's in place right now and if you watch, I just pushed it in place. That's it. So that's done. That's all you really have to do to install that SSD drive into that notebook. So, you know, um, and to look at this the opposite way, if you guys right now are looking around on yours and you're like, you know, I actually want to remove mine, then, you know, take a flashlight, look around here. You can, uh, you can clearly see that this is uh, the size of a hard drive. So you just, you know, you unscrew these two screws. I'm not going to bother putting them in because I still got some work to do on this shit. Um, you know, and then you can uh, pull that thing right back out. So um, one thing you don't want to do is sit there and force it. If you get this thing in a position, see there, it goes all the way in, but it's, it's not connecting. Um, you have to make sure that you're feeling those connectors go into place and that there's some some level of pushback there, like right there. That's actually in place. You'll know if you start your laptop up and it says no operating system found. Um, so not too hard to do. Um, again, I, I don't know everybody's skill level, so um, I really wouldn't um, think this is a big deal. I would try it if you want to put a solid state drive in your laptop. I'm going to do another video on this particular unit probably today on the installation of Windows 7 Professional. Show you guys a full installation using this drive um, on this notebook. And again, everyone's is going to be a little different, but take what from this video you can get out of it and hope, hoping that it helps, helps you out some in understanding how the stuff works and how to handle it and deal with it. Um, real quick, this is a little different from traditional drives. So I'm not, I'm not afraid to, you know, wiggle it around a little bit. Um, if it bangs a little bit, I wouldn't purposely do that. But like what I did there was kind of really light. Um, there's, there's really nothing to them. And uh, that's one nice thing about them is there's no movable parts. It's not like traditional drives where you have the platter and they're spinning. So, so they're really nice drives to use for notebooks. So. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, send me any comments or other videos you want me to do, and I'll keep making some videos here. Thanks. Have a good one.